Hey guys, before we get to the Q&A, real quick, I wanted to point out that we are in the semi-finals of a contest that Ryan Seacrest is holding for covers of Applause by Lady Gaga, so if you'd like to go vote for us and support us, the link is in the description. Thank you, love you, bye! Hey guys, welcome to Ask Tara Bright, where uh, you guys ask us questions with the hashtag Ask Tara Bright, and we and try to answer them. Why'd I say answer? The first one is on Twitter, and it's from Dita Surya. At Tara Bright, show me your recording process. What mics do you have to record? What record equipment do you have? What do you do to record? Hashtag Ask Tara Bright. All right, so uh, we're going to show you most of that, but we're not going to show you what we do to record. It's going to take a long time. Maybe that, we'll do that in a future episode of something. I mean, we have a lot of that in our vlogs, or yeah. well, not the most recent and blogs, but I'm sure you can search. All right, well, thank you for that question. I'm going to show you all my equipment. By the way, we're actually planning on doing stuff like this for this channel, I'll show you guys all my equipment, and we get new equipment in regularly, so we'll do little updates on equipment every once in a while after this one. And also, if you are a brand and you think that your equipment will benefit my recording studio, feel free to email us. You can go to our website, terabyte.tv, and there's a submission form there. We'll see what we like, then we'll talk about it on here, so it'd be great. Anyway, so what we have here right now for recording is I use Cubase on my PC that I built myself. Got it all on Newegg and put it together. I use Cubase 6.5. I also have Cubase 7, but I don't particularly like it. I think I'm just used to Cubase 6.5. I'm not sure why, it's just I just use 6.5. And for guitars, we have guitar plugins, we have Pod Farm 2.5, I believe, Guitar Rig 5, I think, and that's what we use for guitars and bass. And there's all kinds of different patches and things I could do and make it sound like a real guitar. Well, a real guitar amp. This is my interface. It is a Fireface 400. Not much to say about that. We record with that plug in. It's nice. Here's our preamp. The Fireface 400 actually has preamps, but this is a tube preamp. It is a Solo 610 Classic, vacu classic Vacuum Tube. Um, I believe it's by Universal Audio. Well, it's Universal Audio. It's a fantastic tube preamp. I highly recommend it. It sounds great for guitars as well as vocals. And we mainly use it for vocals. The mics that we put into this baby include the Shure KSM44. And this is our first mic. We bought this a long time ago, but we don't particularly like this mic as much anymore as our new mics. Although it is our baby, we now have the Shure SM7B, which is a dynamic mic. It's not a condenser like that one, but this was used to record, for instance, I think Michael, Drax Michael Jackson's Thriller, as well as some other like iconic albums. We use this for Royals, so it has a very nice sound even though it's not a condenser mic. Our other mic we have is the Neumann TLM-103. It's another condenser mic and it sounds amazing. It's a really good mic. Um, over here I have KRK monitors. Um, I have a Dell real monitor. These are studio speaker monitors. Here's the subwoofer, the KRK subwoofer. Guitars! Here is my ESP Eclipse 2. This is a very, very nicely built guitar. Um, it has EMG pickups, comes stock with them, and just plays really nicely. Um, jumbo frets. Here is my Music Man Stingray bass. This is my favorite bass of all time. It just has this growl to it that you can't really get out of any other bass. These, these massive humbucker freaking pickups. It's really light, so it doesn't... I don't like heavy guitars. Oh, by the way, these are active pickups. Over here I have my Les Paul Future. Gibson actually sent this to us, and we are very grateful for it. It's one of my favorite guitars because it has the ability to tune itself. and now it's in tune. And I didn't have to really even think about it or listen and go by ear, it just happens. And you can pick different tunings and everything. It's their system, it's called the Mini E-Tune system, and they have a lot of guitars on there with this system, so you should check it out. And uh, I wish all my guitars had it, to be completely honest. For an acoustic guitar, I got the Taylor 4 and 4 CE. It plugs in right here if I wanted to, but don't particularly like the expression system, which is what they have in these guitars. It's the pickups inside it. I'd rather mic it with one of my condenser mics, but this is a really great sounding guitar. It's not tuned, but you could probably tell it has great tone. I also have another Gibson Studio and a Fender Precision Bass, but they're really old guitars, they're super heavy, and I just don't like heavy guitars. Last but not least, you gotta have this baby right here. This is my BioGS 2.0, it's an air cleaner, air purifier. You know, there's a problem with having dust in your equipment, you gotta make sure to keep that down. And you gotta make sure to keep the air clean so you're happy. And luckily, this has the ability to make you happy with something called negative ions. And uh, if you wanna check out the review of this thing, 
links in the description. We'll put an annotation too. We did a review on my Vlarabyte channel. I feel like keeping the air clean is important when you're recording, so uh, check it out. And that concludes my uh, overview of our equipment. Again, when we come up with more equipment, we'll update you on that. And if you're a company, feel free to contact us. See ya. This next one is from Bad Boy. Bad Boy says, Hi, Terabyte. Could you do a cover of new Avril Lavigne single, Bad Girl? Ask Terabyte. That sounds more like a request than an Ask Terabyte question. Um, we'll think about it, maybe. Maybe. We just did a Avril Lavigne like a couple couple covers ago. Yeah. But uh, we're working on some original stuff. This one's from Christy Williams Zero. Hashtag Ask Terabyte. Do either of you watch Game of Thrones? If so, who is your favorite character? If it's Joffrey, then oh dear, joke joke. My favorite character is Joffrey. I don't want... Uh, we, we don't watch it. I don't watch that. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. We watch Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. And American Horror Story. No, he, she watches that. And it sounds like I just watch horror stuff. It's not true. I watch other things, like How I Family Met Your Guy. Mother. Family Guy, yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Uh, well, they didn't ask what we watch. I, I watch Pretty right, Little Liars. Let's continue. <laughs> you know, there's a wide range. Alright, this question is from Link. Hmm? And Link... Says at Terabyte, hashtag ask Terabyte, do you check your P.O. box and will you visit England someday? You guys are like, what are you doing? He's got like this like pitchfork symbol next to his name. Uh, we, yes, uh, we share a P.O. box with DJ's dad and he checks it, you know, every once in a while. Yeah, not, not like all the time, but yeah, we check it. And if you ever want to know what our P.O. box is, we have it in the about section of all our channels. All right, this question is from Alex Navarro, the professional VLer. If you subscribe to Vlera Brown, you, you recognize him. At Terabyte, what is up with that VL guy? I don't know. I was just talking about him, actually. I, mean, I have no idea what's up with that guy. Like, he's, he's weird. Damn Apparently, man. he's followed by Dave Days, though. That's what it says right here. What? <laughs> this is from Eric Carson. Eric Carson says, At Terabyte, at hashtag ask Terabyte, when will The Walking Dead be finished? Song be finished. Walking Dead song. If you didn't know, we've been working on a Walking Dead song. For like a year. <laughs> and it's just a song that Sabrina wrote and it's Well, kinda we kind of like, we kind of like stopped working on it a long time ago because we thought it sucked. And then we went back to it and heard it had a lot of potential and like changed some of the, you know, stuff we, sounds and whatever. And, you know, recording crap. And it sounded a little better. So we're like, hmm, now we need to make a video. So it's going to be soon. Soon. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, but it's going to be around the time that The Walking Dead comes back, hopefully. It's probably going to be around January. We were going to do it around Halloween, and I was so busy with school and everything, I we just couldn't do it in time, and we really want to do it around the time where, you know, The Walking Dead is... The actual more, show. Yeah, is more topical. Yeah. So we're going to probably release it in January, February-ish. February. This is from Aduaro Cool Bays. I've ruined that. At Terabyte, this is more of a request. I would Eduardo. love it. Eduardo. Eduardo. Cool, cool Baez. Baez. Thanks. At Terabyte, this is more of a request. I would love it if you fed the dog really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a request. I would love it if you taught us all the process to start making music videos. That's also a whole other video. So maybe we'll do that sometime down the line. Um, well, we could kind of give a rundown. When well, you make the song first, and then you uh, you think of a idea you want for the video, or you know if you don't have any ideas and you're kind of like you know got a dead spot, just trying to think of something that looks cool, because that's what we usually go for. <laughs> is we look for shots that look cool, and then we just go for it. We just shoot it and sing to the music and play to the music and put all this stuff together, and it happens. Yeah, I don't care practice, what you learn. Yeah, practice will. Uh, get you there. I don't care what you learn in school, shot lists are annoying. <laughs> Sometimes they help, but... Sometimes, like if you're doing some sort of story, but I mean if you're just gonna do like a performance shot, you don't need to storyboard that, because it's not a story. I mean, I guess if you're asking us how we make music videos, we don't do storylines, so... or storyboards. Storyboards, yeah. We, we did like once. Yeah, I think we ended up butchering the whole storyboard and just like going off somewhere else. Same person asked, at Terabyte, I've always wondered what do you have to do to get the license for your covers? Hashtag ask Terabyte. Good Just question. go to search Limelight. I think it's songclearance.com or something. It's all there. Yeah, you'll figure it out. This question is from Black and Blue. At Terabyte, hashtag ask Terabyte, if we meet, can I give you guys a hug? Yes! No, you can give us two hugs. Because there's two of us. That's true. Or two each. This is from Nick DeMarco. At Terabyte, what is your favorite memory do you have of each other 
Hashtag ask terabyte. You added do you have. I don't know why I added no do. Alright, um. um <laughs> I don't know. Going have on. so many good memories. Going on Conan. Yeah, yeah, Conan. I have such a really, like, really visual memory. It feels like it was yesterday of sitting there, be like, behind stage of Conan on these little chairs. Like, me and DJ sitting next to each other all alone. There's no one around. We're behind the stage and we're just, like, looking at each other, freaking out. Like, every time we heard the word Valentine, we thought we were going to go on. And we're just, <laughs> my heart was, like, pounding. He's like, so, it's Valentine's Day. And then and we're, we're like, like <laughs> we're like, look at each other. So that's it for the Twitter questions. Let's move on to Google+. Plus. There's no Google+, Plus questions. No, I'm just kidding. There's two. Oh. Um, this is from Ben Slam 33 I want to ask you, how do you guys record your covers? How do you guys make your covers? Please show us your recording method. Wait, didn't they already ask that? Was did, they, they might have posted on Well, this is specifically for covers. Oh. <laughs> well. For covers. For covers, DJ, um, well, we'll hear, we'll hear a uh, song and, you know, certain songs stick out to us. We're like, that would make a good rock song or we could do something with that. So DJ will come up with a guitar riff and I will record him with just a camera so he can remember the riff. And then he'll go in and he'll do some drums, or he'll like make up a drum. A, beat a lot of times, a lot of times, I listen to a song and I think, what is the best way I could completely destroy this song? <laughs> and <laughs> what? I try to make it as terrible as possible, so that way everyone that is a fan of that person will come and be like, this sucks. And that's what I try to do. Oh, real funny. Are you trying to do some dry humor right now? Because it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I actually, I try to listen to it and try to make it as different as I can. Yeah. Without sometimes, straying though, away too much from the actual vibe. Yeah, sometimes though, whatever you come up with sounds good, similar to how the actual song is. But, you know, we do try to change it a lot. He does drums first, then guitar, then bass, then I sing, and then we mix and master. And then we shoot the video. Also on Google+, Plus. Pio Trombetta, wow, says, Hi, you are so awesome. Could you do a cover of New Avalovian's song, Bad Girl, for her fifth album? Hashtag Ask Is Terabyte. that the same person? Probably. <laughs> if not, then people really want this cover pretty badly. Well, think about it. <laughs> I haven't even heard the song, to be honest. Me either. So we'll have to check it out I've after I've been crazy busy with this. finals and projects. <laughs> now we're moving on to Facebook, because I'm pretty sure we covered all the Google Plus things. You should follow us on Google+. Plus. Apparently, you know, YouTube really wants us to use Google+, Plus, so we're going to use it. I think it's just like google.com slash plus terabyte, so go check it out. Link's in the description. And our Twitter and Facebook. Link's in the description. And our YouTube channels, Terabyte Games and Flarebyte. Yeah, it gives you a better chance of, <laughs> of this stuff like this. Thanks for watching part one of our Q&A. For part two, click here. We have a big announcement. Click it.